Until the early 1980s, most people pursuing the great Australian dream were looking for physical and financial security. But after 1983, another reason emerged. The Hawke Labor government swept into office and Treasurer Paul Keating began a series of bold economic reforms. They removed tariffs, floated the dollar and deregulated the banks. The Australian economy was thrust into the international market. Overseas capital flooded in. There were cheaper loans and Aussie home buyers were quick to take advantage. The home building industry is looking better than it has for 15 years, thanks to the drop in home loan interest rates. House prices in Sydney have been rising at around $1,000 a week. It wasn't just people buying a roof over their head anymore. Tax incentives and available cash encouraged thousands of Australians to become property investors. I'm happy to take 10 or 20 of the rise. The great Australian dream was for sale to the highest bidder and the prices went up and up. In an atmosphere of mounting panic, they're buying whatever's got four walls and a roof. It's a laugh. I mean, you're lucky to get a unit. But the banks kept lending. Two more banks today raised their prime rates. The cash kept flowing. Now, rapidly rising prices in all cities are squeezing first home buyers out of the market. And the housing bubble got larger and larger and larger. Are we all done? All finished? At the height of the hysteria, the Klintfelts returned from overseas and made a startling discovery. We got left behind in the property market. That was the main thing. Yeah. Everything had gone up in that time that we sold our last place and been overseas. We came back with three children and it was very tough. And uh, we couldn't afford to buy a house, so we rented. And because I was about 40, renting was not a secure feeling. So it gets back to that old thing that's in our mind of owning our own property. I needed to have the security of my own home again. No matter what it took, mm. no matter how hard that was, because we did, we basically had to start again at the age as we were, and that was not easy. Unable to find a suitable house to buy, Carol and Bertel did what new home buyers have done for generations. They went to the edge of the city, bought a block of land, and started building. I basically built it myself. I had help with putting the poles in, of course needed a crane and, and the big uh, barriers and that. A lot of work, a lot of work. Mm. Uh, just about every weekend, I think, I, I yeah. came up. Came yeah. up on the Friday, stayed overnight. And, uh, but it was fun in a way. This is three stories. So I can see them at 44 years of age or whatever, a bit up on the roof there doing it yourself, you mm. know. It's, uh, it was a heck of a lot of physical work. It was 1990 and the Klintfolds were lucky. They'd bought and begun to build at a time when for a lot of people, the great Australian dream had turned into a nightmare. This is a recession that Australia had to have. Australia is now suffering one of its worst ever slumps. Commercial property prices have crashed. The building industry is almost at a standstill. The recession took a heavy toll. When interest rates went as high as 18%, hundreds of thousands went into housing stress, spending more than 30% of their incomes just to service their home loan. Some couldn't afford to hold on and were forced to sell. But even though the bubble had technically burst, the dream was so fixed in the Australian character that demand for housing remained high. Prices didn't plummet, but only flattened out. Then, slowly at first, they started to rise. It's this resilience that makes property investment so attractive to Australians. Done. Sold to you, sir. Sophia Helene and Joe Dewey started thinking about an investment property in 1997. They'd been married a year and were already living in their dream home. I was really, really excited to have my own home, um, to have um, a place that I could do something with. And we, we renovated it and we got it to like a really, really lovely level. The house was probably as close as to my dream home that I came because it was a big old place. 
on, on, a, on a bit of land because I love land. Three quarters of an acre to me was, was almost like 10 or 20 acres to most other people because I just loved it. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms and the beach three minutes away and anybody who walked in felt the love, felt the peace in the property. It was a beautiful home to live in. Their dream home was also the base.